everybody, Chris Shea for Apatsky Outdoors. Today, we're in Northern California and one of people's most favorite places to fish in the entire northern part of the state. This is the McLeod River and it's flowing right below Middle Falls. Now, we also have Lower Falls down here. We're gonna show you how to come up here and catch trout if you're camping in Fowler Campground, if you're a day user, or if you're somebody from Northern California just wants to go have a picnic and catch some fish. Come with us, enjoy the day. Oh, look at the colors on that Man, one. That's beautiful, dude. Come here. All right, got a nice rainbow trout here in the McLeod River. Beautiful fish. Good one. Right behind the rock. Nice. That's a good one, Mick. McLeod River rainbow. Yeah, baby. Ooh. That's a pretty fish. Here we are on the McLeod River catching rainbow trout. They're getting ready for the 4th of July weekend. They're planting the McLeod River up around Fowler's Camp, and they are beautiful trout. So my premium bait I'm using today, bait of choice is a green chartreuse fireball and a balls of fire egg. And I'm also using a small bobber here. As you can see out here, there's a lot of boulders out here and it's real easy to get hung up. So just a small bobber, a couple split shots and game on. Oh, there's one. Hung it up in the rock. Right in the current. Right he still got the chartreuse fireball in his mouth. Yeah. Oh, I hope he stay, I hope that stays on. Oh. There, baby. Yes. Yeah. Char truth. Look at that. Yep. It looks like a fireball to me. Oh, Got him right behind the rock. Yeah, baby. Nice trout. Nice, Double. Double. Oh. oh. Okay, guys. Today I've been using Coho Fireballs, my favorite fireball for obvious reasons. When they get into the water, they have almost a transparent kind of look to them. And that keeps a real low profile bait on your hook. And that's great for fishing high pressure areas. And it's been working very well today. Let's we'll see if we can get one. Coho fireballs. All right, so we've worked our way from McLeod Falls down into Fowler Campground, and uh, we walked basically behind somebody's campsite, and Mick has found a hole that he thinks probably has a few trout. Oh, got one! Oh, we'll get it around the rock. I'm on the rock. That's cold. Get him! Up the right of there! You can't reel him in up the rock? I'll try. I don't know with this light tackle. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> John. <laughs> he jumped the rock! <laughs> These fish are scrappy. <laughs> oh, we got a double. We got a double. Look. Yeah, double. Yeah, Makes sense. Good. I didn't cast over a rock. Uh, I cast over weeds. Got a double. Go home, fireball. Oh man. Look at the spots on that beautiful rainbow trout. They are pretty good quality fish. Woohoo, McLeod River. Was it on the fireball? Go fireballs. Oh, 
Today's episode of Pilots Get Outdoors comes to you from Northern California. We're only about an hour from Redding, maybe three hours from Sacramento, and about a half hour from Mount Shasta. We're up here today on the McLeod River. Now, we're right inside Fowler Campground. And as you can see, California Department of Fish and Wildlife goes out of their way to stock these fish. Now, we learned several things today. One, we learned that they actually drive the truck right in the campground. And these guys make the effort to put fish in buckets, go down trails, and actually stock them throughout the campground and scatter these fish out so people in the campground can have a good time catching fish throughout the day rather than just pulling up to one spot, dumping all the fish out and saying good night. Now, what was most amazing to us today is we also found out that these guys from the Mount Shasta Hatchery go even further. They want everybody to have a great time when they're up here camping. So what do they do? They've constructed their own fish carp, which they attach right behind uh, a four-wheeler. And what they do is they bring the fish and game stocking truck right into Fowler Campground, and then they take nets, and they basically remove the fish out of the truck to put them in this fish cart. And then one of the guys that works for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife will actually drive that cart behind the, go the uh, four-wheeler all the way up the trail. As a matter of fact, we're told they go almost all the way to Middle McQuad Falls. What that does is that spreads trout out. It allows it so people that want to hike, they want to get away from the crowds, can actually go up, check out that beautiful waterfall, enjoy the scenery, and then fish their way back into the campground. So you have roughly a half mile water that is stocked with nets, where these guys go down the trail that you hike to the falls, and they bring fish and scatter them throughout the creek. Now you'll see these fish today that we saw were all rainbows, and most of them were anywhere from you know, eight to 10 inches, all the way up to 12, 13 inches. And they had some beautiful, vibrant colors. Now, you'll also notice that the McLeod River has beautiful flows, okay? Even in drought years, this river flows tremendously and has clear water, has clean water, and the trout absolutely love it. Now, we came out here and we were successful today with two baits. The first one was coho fireballs. We found out last year, filming in Hat Creek, that the trout in Northern California love coho fireballs, reason being, and it may just be these crystal clear waters like Hat Creek and the McLeod River. It's got a low profile. It doesn't stand out in the water. It's, it's kind of almost translucent and the fish love it. Now, we also used another setup today. A couple of the guys use chartreuse fireballs teamed with a gold label salmon egg. Reason being, whichever chartreuse they tried, whether it was the chartreuse anise or the chartreuse garlic has a tremendous amount of set, uh, scent. It creates that awesome scent trail. And then you have that real Potsky Gold Label salmon egg that is also there with salmon egg juice. Between the two of them, the trout couldn't get away from our baits. All right, guys, we just had a triple hookup. We're gonna... Better, better, better. 